Hi friends, it's Sintang Mayumi. I'm here for March guest designer for Not Too Shabby Shop. I will be using Easter Wishes stamp set and dots for spring 6x6 paper pad. I will make two identical cards today. The only difference is the colors I use on these two cards. I will use the basket image and Easter eggs stamps. Let's begin by stamping our basket. I will mount it on my acrylic block and ink it up with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. I'm using my scraps of 90 pound Stratmore watercolor paper. I use 90 pound wat watercolor paper because I want to be able to fussy cut the images easily. I stamp a few of the basket image and I will color them in rainbow colors. I was planning to create a slimline card with rows of rainbow baskets, but it didn't work out for me, so instead I used a two size card base. As always, I will color my images with my zig markers. I will add the color names on the upper right corner of the screen. I will leave some music here and I will be back when the coloring is done. After the coloring is done, I will add some crystal stickles on the white part of the baskets so they will look uh, sparkly. Here are my colored images. I went ahead and fussy cut uh, the baskets off camera and I also colored and fussy cut the easter eggs off camera. Uh, the easter eggs, you can color them with any colors you would like. Um, you can use any mediums too for coloring the Easter eggs. And I also add some crystal stickles and run my memento black marker on the white edges of all of my images so they look seamless. These pattern papers are so pretty. I love the pastel colors. I will chose two papers for my panel. And I will choose the purple and green ones. I will cut them with stitch rectangle die set that I have and I will also die cut a smaller panel with 140 pound Canson XL watercolor paper. I'm going to do some ink smooshing on the smaller die cut rectangles. I will use speckled egg and peacock feathers distress oxide inks. I'm going to smoosh the ink pad on my laminated paper and spray a little bit of water and smoosh the paper on top of the color. Then I will dry it with my heat tool. I will do the same thing on the next color. I don't want my colors to mix so I dry them uh, before I add another color or layer. Let's go ahead and adhere our Easter eggs on the back of the baskets. I will add some double-sided adhesive on the back of the baskets and adhere three eggs in uh, the basket. So I will add the bigger egg and then the smaller ones will be on the sides. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other baskets. As you can see here, I added another layer of the adhesive so I can adhere two of the Easter eggs on uh, the back of the big one. I'm going to add my three baskets on a smoosh colored panel and then I will use washi tape to pick them all up so I can add my adhesive on the back and the position of the baskets will still be the same when I adhere it on the panel. Before we adhere the baskets, I will poke three holes, so one for each of the basket, and then add my mini brads so it will look like my baskets are hanging on the wall. So this one, I have this for um, ages and it's just in my stash. I think I got this uh, brads in Michael's because it's a recollections brand. So I'm just attaching those brads in the holes. And then remove the release paper from on the back of the basket and then we'll hang them on the brads. I'm going to cut the middle part of my pattern paper panels. It's because I really like the papers. Um, no one will see that there is a hole in the middle when we add the smaller panels later. So I will die cut that uh, middle part and I can use that on another project. Let's go ahead and remove the release paper from the adhesive and adhere the panels on our A2 size side folding card base. For the sentiment, I'm going to do some selective inking. I only want the Easter in one of the sentiment from the stamp set and use happy so it will be happy Easter sentiment. I will use washi tape to mask the part that I don't want from the sentiment and I will add the ink on the Easter part and remove the washi tape and stamp it on the paper. The papers I'm using to stamp my sentiments are my scraps of watercolor paper. So I save them um, when I cut my uh, paper or watercolor paper into A2 size panels. And then this uh, scraps, you can use it for sentiment or small images. I will emboss the sentiments with Wow Clear Embossing Powder and heat set the powder until melted and shiny. After the embossing is done, I will cut my sentiments with my uh, paper trimmer and distress the edges with Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide Ink. And now it's time to adhere our smaller panels on our cards. As you can see, the panels or panel hide the hole that we die cut earlier. I'm adhering the panels with foam adhesive and I will also adhere the sentiments with foam tape in the middle. For the inside of the cards, I still have some leftovers of the Easter eggs, so I will just use them inside and I will adhere them with liquid glue. So I added three of the eggs and I will do the same thing with the other card. And my Easter cards are complete. I love the colored baskets with sparkly Easter eggs. Links will be in the description box below the video. And don't forget to use the code N2S10 for 10% off your order. I hope you like today's cards. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.